And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And very much ready to bring you the cut and thrust of League Two. It's Crawley Town, and they face Doncaster Rovers. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, they're playing with a 5 2 3, as we can see it here, but somebody has to step in to join those two midfield players. It could be one of the fullbacks or it could be one of the centre halves. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And the game begins. And a good looking pass. And there to intervene. George Miller. Close on the ball. Losing possession a bit easily. And Maxwell with it. How about the cross? Real chance and foiled by the post. Quite simply, an opportunity wasted. Easy for the keeper. Well, they so nearly took the lead there. They just have to keep creating these opportunities, and I'm sure the goal will come. Powell. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Real chance. The net is steering him in the face. Precision and style, superbly done. Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, but then you have to ask what's going on with the defending. He's afforded far too much time, nowhere near enough pressure on him, and they're punished as a result. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Strong play here. And possession lost, intercepted. First. Miller. And a poor ball. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Well, he's certainly been warned, Stuart. No more challenges like that. Well, he's in no doubt now. He can't foul again. Well, no problems defensively. 
Oh, managing to beat him. Can they hit on the break? This could level it. Oh, but the keeper with an important save. How important is that? Well, he should score from there. That's a wasted opportunity. He should beat the keeper from that sort of distance. Who's going to get on the end of it? No nonsense clearance. He's managed to lose his marker. Has a go! Well, not a million miles away from the equaliser. Well, he couldn't quite get it on target, but at least they're making chances now. Ben close and snuffing out the danger and the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time close on the ball and so it is the first half story has been written you certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point Stuart well I thought he had a really effective first half not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And this confrontation is underway. Real chance. The net is staring him in the face. Oh, that is a majestic goal! Volleyed home with precision and style, superbly. Oh, but the keeper with an important save. How important is that? Well, he should score from there. That's a wasted opportunity. So back underway here into the second half. A decisive clearance it was. Options in the centre. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. John Taylor. Close on the ball. Brown. And options in the centre. Good technique displayed. It should be. And saved by the keeper. And there it is. A goal. I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper. Well, when you see this again, I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky. He makes a good initial save, but the ball comes off of him, rebounds straight to an attacker, and the finish is excellent. So a half an hour remaining. 
So the ball rolling again at 2 0. Dom Telford and the challenge halts them in their tracks as the stats show us the visitors have had most of the play and they've made good use of it they really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more oh what a perfect ball now how about this very alert defending to put a stop to the chance Powell Telford an alert intervention and back to Maxwell close on the ball well there to intercept it is a decent looking attack here the supporters want to see him have a go oh a goal to reduce the deficit my goodness that gets the pot boiling it's not over yet well here's the replay and it's a really good bit of play watch how he turns his marker and then has the composure to finish that's a top class goal Well underway again, it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. We might very well have late excitement here, five minutes to go and just one goal between them. Taylor, well they couldn't keep possession. Well the fans are driving their team on here, but can they respond with a goal? Time is running out. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Well, not the best clearance. Threat over for now, it seems. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, I thought he was excellent. Not only did he score a good goal, but his general play was outstanding. He certainly played a major part in their win here today.